and the first challenger to enter the octagon into the blue corner. Let's hear it for James Dixon. Okay, here I am with James Dixon. James trains out of the Lions gym and is currently undefeated at two wins and no losses. James, how are you doing today, mate? I'm feeling wicked. Tonight you're fighting for a title. Tell us all about it. Yeah, I'm fighting for the February title. Found out about January that I'll be up for it. So. Raring to go. Excellent, excellent. You've got a big smile on your yeah, face yeah. there. So obviously your mental preparation seems like it's gone pretty well. Tell us a bit more about the physical. How's training been going? Uh, training's been wicked. Training with Andre, Jimmy, you know, down at the rough house. You know, it's, it's hardcore, but you know, I grin and bear it and I'm here now. Excellent. Well, look, like I said, you know, you, you've got the title on the line. You're undefeated. Obviously, I'm sure you're hoping that that's going to continue. So there's very little left to say, James, apart from best of luck for tonight. And we uh, hope to see you uh, practicing your stuff in the cage later. And here's an opponent entering into the red corner. Let's hear it for Aiden Lee. Okay, here I am with Aiden Lee. Uh, Aiden is currently 2-0 and, and he trains out of Fearless MMA in Birmingham and he's fighting for the uh, Fight UK Amateur Featherweight title tonight. Aiden, how you doing, mate? Fine, thanks. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Aiden, you're fighting for the title tonight. You're obviously ready and raring to go. Uh, how's training been going for you? Um, everything's gone well. Yeah, have you made any particular special preparation for the title? Um, no, nah, I'm always working in all areas, uh, all areas, so yeah. Yeah, good. Have you got any particular game plan for this evening, or is it just take it as it comes? Yeah, take it as it comes. I'm going to keep it standing, but I wouldn't be surprised if I take it to the ground either. OK, excellent. Well, Aidan, like I said, you know, you, 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 you're 2-0 and at the moment, so we're expecting big things from you in the future. So I wish you the best of luck, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the cage tonight. OK, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the first challenger. Fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Coventry. He's 19 years old. Stands five feet six inches tall and weighed in at 145 pounds. He fights for Lions Gym and has a perfect record of two contests with two wins. Let's hear it for James Dixon. And his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Birmingham. He's 18 years old, stands six feet tall, and weighed in at 145 pounds. He fights for fearless MMA, and also has a perfect record of two contests with two wins. Let's hear it for Aiden Lee. This title contest is fought over five three minute rounds. Gents, you both know rules, you both know what I expect. Amateur rules, no heel hooks, no spine locks, no knees to the head, and no use of the elbows. Protect yourselves at all times, obey my instructions at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do so now. Back to your corners. Second of our two title fights here at Fight UK. Featherweight belt on the line here. As we see James Dixon out of the blue corner from Lions Gym in the white shorts against Aiden Lee from Fearless MMA. Fighting out of the red corner, excuse me, and the longer blue shorts. Aiden Lee straight away, initial impressions, looks very, very long for this weight category. He does, yeah, long limbs, big reach. Very light on the feet as well. Dixon looking to come forward. Both these guys undefeated. So know what, it's in, know what it's like to get in there and win. More importantly, not know what it's like to get in there and lose is a yeah, whipping some, jab from Aiden Lee there. Someone's going to lose their zero today. That's the sad thing about this, isn't it? And very much so, but two undefeated fighters fighting for a title really is the way it should be. It is how it should be. You're absolutely right. Oh, nice head kick snapped up. At least striking is pinpoint. No wasted motion whatsoever. And at just 18 years of age, yet another... We seem to say all the time, it's a, it's a hallmark of, of, of Fight UK. It's just another frighteningly talented amateur prospect. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Headshot. Referee Leon Roberts saying, obviously, that that kick was fine. 
And these kicks are coming at some velocity. Dixon needs to get in there. He needs to get in and close this down. He needs to be all the way in or all the way out. Can't stay on the end of those kicks. Because at the, at the end of his kicking range, at the end of uh, Lee's kicking range, Dixon effectively can't hit him with anything. Correct, yeah. And he's getting hit with the fastest part of his body, the outside of the kick. And if he can get inside, it's less damage, and he can do things like he's trying to do now, work this takedown. But Lee coming in, working the underhooks. Utilising the head control to break the strong clinch that Dixon's got. He's high crotch, but he's... Yeah, he's too, he's too high, too highly extended within that to be able to get a slam from it. Hips are very, very high, like you say, to try and get that takedown, but he might have more joy with a trip, and that's what it looks, looks like he's transitioning to. A great work from Lee to stay upright. What a nice big knee to the body. You could see him setting that up. That was a whopper. That one was huge. And obviously under the unified amateur rules, no knees to the head, but knees to the body. And as we've seen tonight with a, a couple of fights, very, very effective if time right. Absolutely, yeah. Now we can see Lee going down low, looking for a high crotch himself. Given up on that, he's back out. Expect to see a couple more strikes. Off the cage Superman punch and a high kick as well. This kid is impressive. He is, yeah, absolutely. I take nothing away from James Dixon. Game as they come, closing the distance down, what he needs to do, like you say, can't stand there, just kicks and catches him with a nice counter left. Certainly not afraid to get in there and mix it up. Aiden Lee snapping those punches off. He likes that off the cage, Superman. Yeah, he a does. A little bit showy, but there's a lot of legitimate technique behind that. If he lands one of those, Dixon will really know about it. Slaps that kick up high. I mean, Dixon is one that strays low there. As I was going to say there, Dixon is checking a lot of those kicks on his forearms, but you've only got to look. Look how red the elbow and the, the yeah. left forearm is of, is of Dixon. There's only a finite number of those that you can that you can check in that position. Mm, yeah, he's going to be sore in the morning. I've got to be honest, most of these fighters, they seem to have this switch in their head where they can turn off pain. And unfortunately, it's a limited time frame. Dixon looking to close the distance, lands a nice kick himself, but those high kicks. Aiden Lee so athletic. Interesting, we're seeing Dixon check, but nice not, try and, kick. not try and catch. That back leg up a little bit, that leg kick, I don't think he liked that. Another beautiful athletic high kick from Aiden Lee. But James Dixon's doing the right thing here, he's playing the pressure game. This is what he needs to do. Get on the inside and land some nice shots like that. Yeah, that's right, you know. You pressure someone and you can make them make a mistake and then you can capitalize on it. Looking at pursuing the clinch. Dixon looking to link the hands. What a sterling effort this has been after a tough first round. This is the fight, as you said, it's the fight he needed to do. Metaphorically, you're right. Roll his sleeves up and just get in there. Get dirty and get involved. That's it. That's how he's going to win the fight. You know, there's no point standing around and getting outpointed with these strikes. Now he's giving his back up. This is, this, is, this is a pivotal, dangerous point in this fight from Dixon's perspective because there he turns in. Good job there, done by Dixon, turning in. What a scrapper this kid is. He has not come to lie down whatsoever, taking the fight to Aiden Lee in this second period. Relentless on that takedown. Landing some nice knees on the inside. And like you say, maybe not necessarily fight ending, but chipping away. And more importantly, scoring points in the eyes of the judges. Absolutely, yeah. Nice takedown. Beautiful takedown. Now he's in half guard. Let's see. Let's see what Aiden Lee's ground game's like. He's really battled to get this position. Needs to try and land a couple if he can at this point. 
Just to finish the round with a bit of a flurry. Lee doing well holding on though. And that's the end of a very competitive second round. What a title fight this is turning into. Absolutely. From the striking perspective early on, it looked like it was all Lee. And then Dixon came back, refused to sit down and take it, got in, rolled his sleeves up, scored the takedown, end of that second round. Five rounds. It's a long time to be in there. It's a long time to be in there. It's a lot of gas you've got to have in the tank. It's a marathon, not a sprint. It's good to see Fight UK adopting the, the five threes for title fights that was originally discussed uh, quite a while ago, simply because it gives amateur fighters moving in the professional ranks a taste of that 15 minute. And also yeah. for me, it adds that prestige to a title. You're not fighting three rounds for a title. You're fighting five rounds, albeit yeah. they're being shorter rounds. It's a, it's, a, it's a good natural progression for fighters to go amateur, fight for amateur titles, and then go to the pro. And Dixon once again picking up where he left off, coming forward exactly as he needs to do. Some good head movement and landing the leg kicks, but a nice one-two counter there from Aiden Lee. Nice leg kick there. Once again, Dixon, has he got the hands clasped? He is fighting for everything he's worth on this takedown, but good work from Lee there. Will we see trip throw from here? Nearly. Reversal from Lee, very nice. See, the danger for me from, from Lee from these positions when he's got, when he had his opponent pushed up against the cage, I'd like to see him just push off and separate because this is the, these up close exchanges where Dixon needs it. He needs it in these positions to be able to win the fight. At range, Lee can pick him off all day. Yeah, you're right. You're right. When he's got Dixon's back to the cage, surely it's in his best interest to push off and, and start cracking those kicks again. You're right. This is what I was saying, though, about why a shorter opponent is so dangerous lent on you on the cage wall you can't really utilize your height advantage now he's turned him beautiful knee to the body but once again dixon's back and he's working hard what a scrapper james dixon is has it got not overawed by his opponent? And once again, only needs only needs a couple of takedowns. Got the legs hooked now, trying to get the body lock. Can't quite cast the hands back to the single. But what he's doing here as well, Lloyd, that I think is really good, is he is making Aiden Lee work for yeah. every single position, every second of his exchange. Great switch from Lee. He tries to get on top. Trying to hit the switch, but doesn't quite have it. He's got both his hands together, and now is he going to reverse? What an exchange from these two. And now it's Lee with the back. We're going to fire some knees to the legs. Very close round this. Yeah, it's intense. It's, it's classic, isn't it? We've got, you know, a very, very, very strong striker and a very strong wrestler here by the looks of things. And, now they've learned each other. These rounds are only getting closer and closer. As they know what works and what doesn't work. There we go with uh, James Dixon nearly taking down referee Leon Roberts. He loves getting in the action today, doesn't he? He's, already, he's already had one rear naked choke. He's nearly been taken down. One thing we notice is we're not seeing Lee jumping off the cage wall anymore. I think he's realised his facial expression has changed. He's not showboating as much. He's realised this is not going to be a walk in the park. This guy deserves respect and he is going to push you. And that is exactly what's happening. And that is why this is making out for a fantastic title fight. Dixon coming forward. Nice leg kick of his own. Got his hands up to block that head kick and that came really fast. And this is the range he needs to be pushing forward. Can't stay on the outside because that jab is like a piston. This is it. We need to see Dixon get in. There he is. He's on the cage again. Look, Lee's comfort zone, moving on the outside, picking him off, using that range. Look how he's stepping in with that jab. It's fantastic. Now he's showboating again. He's comfortable. He's happy. Dixon's not up in the clinch and he can pick him off bit by bit by bit. This is the way Aiden Lee wins this fight. 
Finley's going to win this fight, it'll be in this manner. I'm not saying that he can't wrestle, but the, the wrestling element of this fight is a lot closer than this. You're absolutely because, right. Let's, uh, not, let's not rule out a head kick KO, though. Nice right overhand. Yeah, that landed. Look at the jab. The jab on Lee is fantastic. Dixon continually holding the center. Big knee there, got to be careful of that. Another nice leg kick. But James Dixon unabashed. I think, I think Dixon's made of bricks, you know. He's just, just taking these shots and just not bothered. There's no facial expression, there's no flinch. Nothing at all, and that's a nice shot underneath. And a nice leg kick as well. Lee knows he's in a fight now. Yeah, that's it. Dixon looking to try and get on the inside. Lands a nice leg kick as he caught his man circling in. Tries the teep, just misses. Now Dixon landed some kicks. Dixon found a home this round for that kick, that right outside kick. And this is what he needs to do, he needs to press his man. Now, double from the outside. Game Judo changer. Throw over the top, can't quite get it with the two clinch up. See, and once again, fires were clinched then for one second, two seconds. Straight away, Dixon's turned it around to his advantage. He's got his man pushed up against the cage. Yeah. This isn't where Aiden Lee needs this fight. It's grinding exchanges. Thing is, though, I'll tell you what, you don't get cauliflower ears like that from not being able to wrestle, Ben. I'm not surprised he's dominating the clinch. A real workhorse-like performance from James Dixon, grinding his man up against the fence, landing those knees. And these are all scoring. These are all scoring shots. End wow. of the fourth round. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I'm going to say. Truly, anybody's at this point in this fight. Very, very close. Exactly everything that you want to see from a title fight here. Two great fighters, giving it their all. Four hard rounds, end of the fifth. It may just be a matter of who wants it enough. It opens up with some head kicks, does Lee, that acrobatic, flashy style, but that is a big shot from Dixon. Yeah, straight down the middle as well, whilst Lee's working the outside, high kicks, big There's hooks. that leg kick again, you, a great call on that. Straight in for the takedown, surely this is planning, but once again, in this range, this is where Dixon's dangerous. Yeah, he smothers him, doesn't he? He smothers him. Got to try and get his hands down. He can get, get that second hand through. There's your scoop takedown. No, he stuffed it. Lee on the wall, and again, like you said earlier, Ben, it's only two seconds, and Dixon's back in control again, putting pressure on the wall. Did we see another trip takedown? No, we're not going to. A little bit of pummel in there. Nice bit of Greco. And Lee looking like the more physically imposing of the two fighters. Very, very deceiving. James Dixon is a grinding athlete. He's taking, with these positions, Lord, he is sucking the will out of his opponent to still want to be in this fight. Yeah, that is it. It is soul destroying. Now his hands are linked, here we go. Hands are linked, he's gonna get him up and down, he's gotta be kept mindful of the switch, that's why he's moving round. There it is, there it is. Boom, oh, and he rolls him. A nice good. roll, but good work in the scrambles. Dixon turned Dixon that ends beautifully. up on top. However, Lee has got guard. Dixon works so hard for this position, gotta make something of it. This is a close fight. Really, really close fight. Some nice body, body, head, ground and pound. And we see with the shorter rounds. Mm, really on Roberts giving a bit of a warning for a heel to the kidneys there from Lee. But from Dixon's point of view, and as we said before, the thing with these amateur fights is with these shorter rounds is one takedown sometimes is enough. If you're going to do just about enough, throw a little bit of body head, you don't need to do that much of it. Because no, you're, looking at, it. you're looking at a larger percentage of a smaller round. You're correct, you, yeah. If you can spend two minutes on top with this, with this kind of stifling ground and pound offense, that's two thirds of the round. That's it, and that's what it's all about. Who controls for the predominant amount of time in that round? 
The body still had striking. ground and pound from Dixon, excuse me. At least still working, but. Referee stands him up, can't be long left. See the timekeeper motioning the clacker, you can only have it. a couple of seconds left. Spinning back kick. Dancing around the outside as James Dixon, as Aiden Lee throws everything flashy that he's got left. And that's the end of a fantastic title fight. Anybody's guess. Anybody's guess who's won that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, first things first. Let's have a massive, massive round of applause. Yeah. What a fantastic, fantastic fight. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after five hard fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and the judges have rendered a split decision. Okay, judge number one scores the bout 48 47 Dixon. Judge number two scores the bout 47 48 Lee. And judge number three scores the bout 49 46 in favour of your winner and new Fight UK champion from the blue corner, James Dixon. But let's have a massive, massive round of applause. Let's hear it for a very worthy challenger. Let's hear it for Aiden Lee.